Hi, Jacob. Thanks for your question. Um, to solve this system, since all of my x variables are squared, both of them are, and all of my y variables are squared, I'm actually going to do a substitution. Let's go ahead and let x squared equal u and y squared equal v so that we can turn this into a linear system. So the first equation will become u plus v equals 80 and the second equation will become negative 2 u plus v oops, there we go, plus v equals 32. Now we can solve this just like any other linear system. Um, I'm going to choose to do it by the process of elimination. So let's go ahead and multiply this entire second equation by negative 1. So the system turns into u plus v equals 80 for the first equation and 2u minus v is equal to negative 32 on the bottom. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and add these straight down so that we get 3u is equal to 48. If we divide this by 3, we'll get u is equal to 16. Let's go ahead and put this value back in whichever equation is easier to work with. I'm going to pick the first one. So we have 16 plus v equals 80. Let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides so that we get v is equal to 64. So here we have u is equal to 16 and v is equal to 64. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my um, solutions back in terms of x squared and y squared. So I have x squared is equal to 16, which means x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16, which is 4. And y squared is equal to 64. So y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64, which is 8. So I have two values for x and two values for y. I just need to go ahead and put these back in both of my equations to check and see how they're going to pair up for my solutions. So my first equation is x squared plus y squared equals 80. Let's go ahead and actually check both values at the same time here since they're squared. So x squared would be plus or minus 4 squared. Usually we wouldn't write both of those in there at the same time, but um, for the sake of brevity, we'll go ahead and do that here. So plus or minus 4 squared, doesn't matter which value you put in, plus plus or minus 8 squared is equal to 80. Is this true? Let's go ahead and see. Plus or minus 4 squared, regardless of the sign, turns into 16. And whether we have a positive or a negative 8 in here, once we square it, we will still get 64. So on the right-hand right, si right side, we will indeed get 80. So that checks. Let's check it in our second equation. Um, negative 2 plus or minus 4 squared plus y squared. Okay, so plus or minus 8 squared is equal to 32. Let's go ahead and simplify and see if this is true. Whether we have a positive or a negative 4 in here, when we square it, we will get 16. Same with plus or minus 8, we will get 64. Does that equal 32? Let's see. We'll get negative 32 plus 64. So that does indeed equal 32. So the second equation checks as well. What that means is regardless um, of what you put in for x um, as far as the sign or y as far as the sign, all of these will work. So you actually have four solutions. So we are going to have negative 4 
negative 8, negative 4, positive 8, positive 4, negative 8, and positive 4, positive 8. Those are all going to be solutions to this equation. And those will be your final, final answers. Um, thanks again for your question, Jacob, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.